Good day, my name is Jericho Rangel and I'll be giving a short overview of my undergraduate thesis. Quantum computing and qubits have promising potential. To understand, let's look at an example. Two qubits and two bits alike have four possible states, but the qubits represent them all simultaneously. This is known as quantum parallelism, which along with entanglement and interference, provide the basis for significant speedups. Mathematically, they are represented by vectors in ket0 and ket1, where the superposition is just a matter of matrix algebra. Qubits do well with high-complexity combinatorial problems. Consider a repeating symmetric lattice, where the main interactions are that of nearest neighbors and magnetic fields. Focusing on the triangular sublattice, we ask, what makes this configuration stable? We have h for the external magnetic field and j for the coupling coefficient between particles. Each particle has a spin, which will change depending on configuration stability and energy. This energy is given by the Hamiltonian and this magnetic model is known as the Ising model. To run this model through a quantum computer, we use Qiskit, a Python package which allows us to make quantum circuits and simulate or run them. This is what the quantum circuit looks like. This quantum circuit gives us the lowest system energy and we continuously optimize this guess until convergence. In the system, we set h to 0 0.01 and simplify the coupling such that the first and third ones are equal for symmetry. We then determine which couplings are stable. Each configuration is denoted by spins and in this study, we see how well our quantum circuit is able to predict the state with the lowest energy. To systematically do this, we take the ratio alpha 1 between the first two couplings and vary it. Running on the Qiskit quantum simulator, for both positive and negative values of alpha 1, we found that the algorithm reached absolute minima when there was symmetry. By symmetry, I mean that J2 is equal to half multiples of J1. Some cases led to relative minima, but most led to unstable magnetic frustration. Trials were also done on quantum computers to observe agreement between results and predictions. This investigation is an initial step in understanding how material properties and lattices can be studied in quantum computing architecture. Thank you.